Cliff. Bowser from Shanghai. <laughs> do 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 do. Good one, Jimmy. Yeah, we're live. Hey, people. Hey, people. He can come back if you want. Ooh, David, moody lighting. Hmm? Moody what? lighting. Moody lighting. <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah. Sets like the tone. Apocalypse now. I, uh, Who's the robot? I don't know. Which one's a robot? Not me. David looks frozen. Oh, oh there. Now Jimmy's gone. <laughs> uh oh, I, I'm low battery. Let me get my charger. <laughs> you got it for me when you go in and out. Sure, sure. <laughs> I think I lost my my guy. Hey Pat, do you remember that chick from uh, Seattle, that blonde girl? Uh, the night last time I was there. Oh yeah, yeah. David, we're live, you know. No. Yeah, can you guys see me now? Yeah. Baby, crack me open one of those. <laughs> yeah, make that two. <laughs> I'll take three. <laughs> I have to go by the nose. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it right here. We got seven, right. seven people right now. Uh, I thought we were live. We are live. We got 72 people, 75 people watching it. Uh, hello. All right. Well, we might as well get into this. Um, for people that are wondering why we're doing this, it's because we've got. Uh, I am. We've got a uh, we've got some things to talk about for that we're got scheduled for the uh, rest of the year. We're not going to be playing any live shows in front of anybody, obviously for the rest of the year. Um, we're working on stuff for next year, but you know, who knows how that's going to go. Um, but we do have a few things. Uh, Tim, you want to start off the the kind of the I guess. The single. Talk about the single first. Yeah, the um, I guess this has been floating around a little bit. Um, we right before the pandemic kicked, we had gone in and cut <laughs> life work um, as a as a single that was in theory was supposed to come out in the summer, but it's uh, obviously didn't happen. And so we've been sitting on that for a little while, and about a month ago. We in and cut the B side. So we are of a song called The Last of a Dying Breed. I'll get that as the new, uh, which is sounding pretty great too. And it was written by, I guess, mainly Brian and David and me, I guess. And um, it's a pretty good rocker too. Um, and uh, that's those are just starting to be mixed. And they, we're going to put them out as we'll do a video for. Lifer's the A side, and we'll do a video for that, and then we'll uh, hopefully have a. We're, each, we're probably gonna do physical. We're not probably. We are doing physical seven inches, which we'll do a sign, and for people who want to have like an actual piece of vinyl, and we'll give you a download card and all that other stuff. But it'll also be available for the downloads as a single, and hopefully that the plan for that is to come out probably um, late November. Is hopeful. Uh, Pressing plants are still getting geared up, so. It, it didn't make anything too date certain. So, um, but it's being mixed as we speak and they both sound really good. 
Um, and um, there was talk about other stuff with it, but I think we decided to keep it clean and just do this, do, do the single as we planned pre-pandemic, pre-pandemic. And then the theory would be to move into another full-blown album as opposed to doing something kind of piecemeal like an EP. And these songs would be part of the next record. Not, not unlike we did with Faded. And yeah, you know, yeah. Is that, is that kind of uh, sum it up? Also, Acetate's going to be putting out the singles in a uh, different color vinyl. So uh, I don't, we don't know how many um, different colors are going to be. It could be three, di three different color vinyl. hundred. Or it could be five. So, in a limited yeah, run, right. it'll be very uh, bespoke and collectible. Yeah. So we'll sign them all and all that good stuff. But um, download fans and whatever they can have that will be downloads and of course and all the usual spots. So, um, and it's really just the beginnings of what would be the next record, which we've started writing on as we've been saying forever. But we actually did get in a room and start working on new material because we came up with this B side. So. Um, so there's there there could be there'll be more progress. I think we're sort of waiting to see uh, what's happening. Like it's making a record and then not being able to promote it at all seems kind of silly to us. And so we want to make sure we can actually go out and bring it to the people, at least in some form. And so yeah. that's a consideration as well. So Jimmy's got a ghost. Ghost <laughs> Jimmy, you're scary. <laughs> The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> He's the wizard. The wizard. Uh, we're also going to be doing a uh, video um, sometime in um, in the next month or so uh, for Rome is Burning. It's um, the idea. Under, the idea is uh, has a non-disclosure agreement. We cannot talk about it. So. It'll be a promotional film. It'll yes. be a promotional film. It's it for an Academy Award for a short film. A short film. <laughs> and then we're doing the acoustic show. Yes, and the acoustic show is going to be on the, when is it, the 19th. So that's uh, at 1 p.m. So that way we kind of did it at 1 p.m. So we could, so people in the UK could actually, don't have to stay up that late. People in Australia, you got to get up a little early. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah. People on the East Coast, you can start drinking at 4 o'clock. Uh, also, we did it on a Saturday because we want to watch football on Sunday. We don't want to play acoustic. So. <laughs> We're out. taking requests. No, yes, take your requests for these <laughs> guys. Kidding. No <laughs> requests. No requests. We'll do some, we're doing some different stuff that we haven't done before. And it'll be yeah. different stuff from we did from that acoustic show, some of it. So there'll be some, there'll be some surprises, stuff we don't do that often. Surprises. Yeah. In a couple of days, uh, we'll post some of the videos that we did acoustic at the Viper Room. So you guys will get a general sense of it. Uh, it's not going to be that, you know, it's not going to be on a stage. It's actually going to be in a living room. Oh, uh, good. No video walls. Uh, it's, Straight yeah. ahead, us acoustic guitars, some drums with uh, some uh, brushes, and, and no cover charge. No cover charge at all. Uh, so we are selling event tickets. Uh, at the link that we posted at the top of the chat area, uh, you can go grab a uh, live stream shirt. Uh, we're also going to be having um, we're going to be having 2020 signed uh, tour posters <laughs> with our one two. Three three, four, five, six, seven, with our seven dates on it for 2020. Uh, we'll be having those the day of the show. We're going to have a couple things to auction off on the day of the show, a bass drum any, head. Um, any stage one gear that's going out? Some shoes. Some shoes. Hey, Pat, I might have a handmade uh, vest for a very petite woman. And David, oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. So, and David's also going to be doing plaques for, uh, for those of you that- Double plaques, uh, yeah. Want to, uh, and those are all going to be after we play. It's going to be similar to what we did last time on the cruise uh, stage. We're going to have a you know an auction kind of thing. But uh, and that's really it. And like we said, like like I said earlier, just wanted to Facebook live. We really don't know what's going on. We're trying to work on stuff. I mean, a lot of bands are booking as far out as October, which really doesn't make any sense for us. So.
who knows what's gonna happen. I just muted myself, okay. <laughs> what's up, Finish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, I think Bridge is out there. Go out, go out, out there by the pool. <laughs> Timmy's got a party going on. <laughs> Timmy's got his own. He's got his own thing going on. God. I got a siesta. It was making. You <laughs> knucklehead. You need double rainbows, Jimmy. Yep. Oh boy. Somebody's. I just. I just got off work, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. So we're gonna open this up uh, to people that want to write some questions. Uh, we're gonna open this up for about the next ten minutes, and then we're gonna call it a day because it's fucking hot. Got to go back to the pool. Got to go back to our pool. Yeah. Pool or pond? <sighs> Anybody has any questions? Go ahead and write them in the uh, comment area. They're yeah, the comment area. Um, please, no questions like how did we get the band name or when did we form? I think you all know that, yeah, all that information by now. <laughs> Is that you, Pat? No, I don't think so. It's got to be Jimmy. It's got to be Cat. <laughs> no Cat. <laughs> Where's that cat coming in from, Jimmy? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Triposaurus. Totally <laughs> Triposaurus. Oh man. Uh, all right. Somebody actually did have a question. Is the new music in analog? <laughs> um, well, we're analog people, so I guess yes. But no, yeah. it's into it's it's into a computer. But it's played by human beings on real instruments. So. Sometimes human beings. Semi-human on semi-real instruments. We walk uh, Metal Dave actually posted a good question. Uh, He's yes. suggesting the crew will get us and the hangmen together to do a show. Who? Cruise? Oh, Metal Dave. You oh, know, the crew. Oh, the Monsters of Rock. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Jimmy would not be opposed. I think they're pretty booked. That thing is pretty booked up, man. They they turn that thing out a lot, but yeah, that would be great it though. Might be a little recent for them, but the rate things are going in a month or so, they probably will be circle back and probably do it. So yeah. it's a good idea. That'd be fun, something different, because we did it already. I was like, yeah. how can we do it differently? You know? Yeah. There's a good schlock on that thing. And hang, he's a good band. Or two. You can hire Donnie Popejoy to come out and MC it, too. Yeah. That'd be hot. He just called me. Did he? Yeah. He's he called me yesterday, and I just got back to him, but he was eating watermelon and asked if he could get back to me. Was he yelling? <laughs> I need I understand the importance of watermelon on such a hot day, so I didn't argue. <laughs> I think I think the hangman um we should do something with them and do sea hags covers. A lot of people <laughs> want to hear the sea hags. I like that idea. Back to the grind. Okay. Yeah. No homage. The way. The valley. Good band. Uh, somebody wrote a good question. Do you do you collaborate with any other <laughs> artists or bands? Actually, Tim, didn't you just collaborate with somebody, you and Jimmy? Well, like that Todd Todd Long. Oh, we played. Yeah, I did. I, we played on this guy's record. Well, I, me and Jimmy both played on this, on these tracks. I, I don't. I didn't know it was gonna be a record. Jimmy, did you think it was? I didn't know what it was for. He just sent us tracks and asked us to put some guitar on them a couple of different times. So, I, I guess that's how the, that happened. The answer is yes. We're not opposed to rocking out with someone else given you know the time and means yeah oh, yeah absolutely not it was fun yeah. i think i saw fun. that with uh version one of the songs has gilby on oh oh really yeah cool. it's all news to me yeah i don't even know what the, what's the name of the band does anyone know i think it's like <laughs> ghost ghost of sunset oh yes yeah. yes 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 that's, that's it, it? Yeah. okay yes. me and Jimmy on that record 
It's a good name. You didn't get the single, Gilby did. <laughs> Just on your leg. <clears throat> Any chance of releasing the rest of the demos? What demos? Uh, oh, the demos from the third record. Um, Guys, we're gonna have to move on. Yeah. You gotta let that go, people. Yeah. And let it go, this brother. Is the song that we thought was good, and that's it. You know? No more Jeff Kiss Morning. It's gone. <laughs> Very There's a fall on that stuff now. You know? There's a show. It exists. You can find it if you want it. You can. It's there. Yeah. Uh, junkyard in the cult. Um, we are kind of a bubble. Oh. Call Billy. <laughs> Colt 45. <laughs> Colt McCoy. <laughs> Tom, it, Tom from Little Caesar wrote uh, Lions and Ghosts of Sunset. Now that's a good name for a band. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> too long. It's too long. I, I'd, vote for, I'd vote for a Lions and Ghosts reunion. Yeah, right. I'd love to see that. Rick, you out there? Rick Parker? Put Just me down. down. Rick, I know you're listening. <laughs> December 27, 1987, the first time I saw a junkyard, the headline in 87. Where at? Yeah, where at? Who's this guy? Holloway. Holloway. Oh, that was when we opened up the Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, Come on, people. Get some questions going. Uh, okay. All right. If no one has any questions, I have questions. All right. You go. Um, Todd, what's a good restaurant that you can go eat with outside patio kind of deal in Hollywood right now? <laughs> I would have no clue. I do not leave my house. Excellent. Tim, patio. I guess when we do our acoustic thing, maybe there's a, a place with a patio that we can go have lunch at. Maybe, you know, uh, just a quaint yeah, Mexican place. El Patio place. has a patio. Hmm? El Patio has a patio. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah. El Taco Truck. Has a well, patio. Truck. Yeah, that's has about how you get out right. That, that Taco Bell on Ventura Boulevard has outside patio. It's, it's an awesome. outside dining experience. It's fancy. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but the place that we're doing the acoustic thing at has a patio in the backyard, right? Yeah. Patio, yeah. And by the swimming pool. I'm bringing swimming, the swimming pool. pool. Way too. And it has a swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going swimming. What about you guys? Yes. Absolutely. Just not, I can't get my hair wet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think fine. water can penetrate it, that. It's like a beaver's tail, dude. Come on. You got it. There's a lot of grease in there. It doesn't stand a chance. It, it's greasy. Grease you, need is, your, you need a swim cap. I do wear a swim cap. Mine's filthy is. dirty. Not greasy, but just filthy. Filthy. Greasy. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I haven't washed it since the Obama administration. <laughs> we got any questions? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, do you prefer the sound of your music on record or digital media? Oh. I have a record player. I'd be able to answer that question. I, yeah. I have a record player. I, I have to say, once, I do, once that we've done it, like we've made something and released it and everything, and I don't really listen to it much ever again. I hear when I when it passes, like if it's on Pandora or something like that, I'll hear it in passing. But I don't generally put on my own records to listen to. But I'd probably like vinyl, I guess. That's what I prefer in general. But I don't. I blast it in the car. I have, I, yeah, we'll blast it in the car sometimes to see what it sounds like. Yeah. But it's always a good check to see what it is. Cars sound the best, whatever you're doing. It's, it's cars good. always sound the best. Yeah. Well, I think that when, when we do the album, we listen to it so much during production and the release that we don't need to hear it again for another 10 years, probably. Yeah. yeah. Then we have to relearn the song. Yeah. Then I listen to stuff. So, yeah. I've heard it enough. That's hey, I... here's a special treat for all of our fans. 
you guys gonna see my dog? Oh, he's, hey. He's got diapers on. Why does he have a diaper on? Because he sprays everything in the house. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. Huh? What's that? We, we can't fix it unless we tie it in a knot. We obviously can't do that. <laughs> what happened to it? It just pisses. It, it's a boy dog and it marks everywhere all over the house. But check out his gear. Check this out. So you put diapers on him? He's got suspenders too to hold him up. <laughs> He's a West Hollywood dog, man. He's totally us in him. <laughs> Does that train them? 422 dudes. It doesn't train him. If it, if it trained him, he wouldn't have to wear it. <laughs> He's in here, here's a good question. What do you think of the rock scene today versus the 80s? <laughs> I was kind of looking for it. I think COVID, COVID really sucks. The uh, rock scene today sucks. Yeah, here, here, it's Jimmy. much better. I couldn't imagine it gets much worse than this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, not, that's not even a fair fight. You know? yeah. yeah. Hey, when does that cream thing premiere? I think it's out. It's, it's out, out now, yeah. I, I rented it from <laughs> Apple Music. You can rent it? Yeah. They got the cream documentary. There's a good junkyard placement in there. All right year. at the end of the movie. Really yeah. good. Oh, oh. So if I get on like Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, I can search. Yeah, you can rent it for like uh, five bucks or something. Hey, it's a really good documentary. Really good. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was one. Is it preferable for you guys to play amphitheaters or outdoors with all the elements? Uh, we don't say amphitheaters. <laughs> we haven't. We haven't in a long time. Yeah, a while. Yeah, but I think the drive-in thing might start to gain some more steam. Actually, I saw Blackberry yeah. Smokes doing a bunch of that stuff, and I was actually out last night of all things at a restaurant to have all this outside seating. And a buddy introduced me to the keyboard player for Tower of Power. Remember Tower of Power? The yeah. Guy? They were doing the Ventura Theater like tomorrow night or tonight, maybe. Uh, not Ventura Theater, the Ventura Fairground drive-in with uh, Los Lobos. And I was talking to him. Wow. Like, wow. It's the first time they do it. And I go, how do you do sound? And he said, you everyone just tunes it into the radio. So it actually sounds really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. FM, full audio, stereo, HD sound, and you just tune into the FM. So he's, they were doing a show with Los Lobos, I guess. You don't have that speaker that you hook on your window? Yeah, those days are over. <laughs> they don't <laughs> We're old. Gronk runs into him when he's on his way to go take a piss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a drive-in drive things, but, you know, I... Yeah. yeah. I think I'll wait for the uh, Cure. <laughs> the Cure is a good man. I like them. I'd see them in a drive drive through. I sure would. I personally wouldn't mind sitting by car watching the band. Hell no. I'd like to see Blue Oyster Cult. At Winnetka Drive-In. <laughs> if you, if, I, if they're listening, if you have your car, you can put your weed in. I, I know you're listening, Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> I wonder if cops wait outside the drive-in and just like pull people over randomly as they leave because they're all hammered. Don't Dharma, Jimmy needs you. <laughs> <laughs> you come become like we are. <laughs> What else we got? We got anything good? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do we rehearse with masks on? Yeah. Yeah. That should be As good. a matter of fact, we do. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> David don't. What will be your musical influences on your next album? Well, that would be yeah. us. It's, it'd be a, we're still writing. K-pop. We're going K-pop. It's all it's straight K-pop now. On. Yeah, keep with the times, man. Stones did it. <laughs> I don't know. What's it sound like? It's too early to tell. Yeah. But, they didn't uh, go K-pop. I mean, Stones came up with the times back then. Two yeah. words. Jungle boogie. <laughs> <laughs> it's still developing, but I don't know, you know. 
we don't we're not reinventing our wheel as it were but i think it's hopefully a progression we don't know it's hard to say the new two i think the, it happens naturally and you don't notice it and we don't yeah. notice it yeah i mean hopefully it's, it'll be different than high water i guarantee that much but yeah um there's sort of a thematic line that's kind of developing for the new record. We're sort of there. I don't want to go much further than that, but, and, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. My one sense is maybe a little, a little simpler and more direct, maybe a little raw in terms of approach. That's the one thought I'm feeling these days. That yeah. might've go out the window and it'll be all strings. So who the fuck knows? Yeah. <laughs> So one guy wrote, uh, what's a musical influence that had a big impact on each of us that most people wouldn't guess? Oh. That, that's a good question. Good question. Uh, I didn't hear it. Name an influence on you all that we, each of us that um, you wouldn't expect for us to say. You know. And we're pretty open about being really broad, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, the Bee Gees for me, probably. Big Bee Gees fan. Totally. That's a good one. Were we talking about influences that they wouldn't expect? Yeah. 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 Oh. I think probably for me, stra the strawberries. Yeah. Raspberries, you mean? I mean, raspberries. I was thinking of some eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, the damn strawberries. <laughs> oh, right. I love Neil Young. I wouldn't say he's an influence, but. I would never have known that about you, Todd. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you would have played <laughs> in the van. Yeah, right. Turn that shit off. God damn it. David, what do you got? As far as, the, I mean, influences, I have all kinds of influences. Local, like, like people I emulate, or is that the question? No, just somebody that you like that people wouldn't think that you like. Yeah. Oh, KG Elephant? There you go. Yeah. I like it too. Yeah, I'll, I'll third that. Yeah. Jimmy, are you live? Uh, yeah, I like old 60s garage rock stuff. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Never have guessed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So outside of your I'm shocked. ABBA, ABBA's great. Who doesn't like ABBA? ABBA. Come on. Hey, yeah. Yeah, ABBA. I like the Stone Roses. There you go. That's Britpop. Yeah, I like that from the 90s. I love Britpop. Yeah. Yeah. I liked all that stuff. Did you like Slade? Slade, hell yeah. Yeah. No, not Slade, Suede. No, Slade. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the seventies funk. Slade was cool the, uh, too, but Slade. Man. Ohio players, Earth, Wind, <laughs> Fire, those bands. Billy Sound stuff, yeah. Yeah, disco. I'm going to like Parliament and um, yeah, Ohio players. That stuff. Oh man. man, first time I heard Parliament, man, it freaked me out. So we got another question. Uh, in all seriousness, your songwriting has been consistently great throughout all the personnel changes. How do you keep coming up with some solid material? That's actually from uh, Tom from Little Caesar. Hey, Tom. Hey, Hi, Tom. Tom. We back. don't always have hey, solid Tom. material. We throw a lot away. <laughs> throw a lot away. Actually, don't. I, I don't think know how we do self it. Edits, you know, they, they, you know, songwriters self edit. They don't really bring a lot of stuff that gets tossed aside. I think uh, we spent a long time on it too. It's yeah. arduous for us. We're really meticulous about I, it, making sure the idea is really actually it meets our standards, I guess, you know? So, um, and we, we all will throw in, you know, we're not, we're, not, we're not selfish. It's like best ideas. So we try and pull from every, we're, we're sluts. We'll take from any idea that's good and we'll take it. You know, and build off that, and so I don't know. A bit of luck, you know, but we're pretty. We're slow. Like it takes us forever to get a record ready because we're slow. We don't. We 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 will throw out a, an idea very quickly if it's not happening or we don't think it's exactly what we want to be doing. And then sometimes the ideas take a long time to develop, even if they end up being good. So I guess that's it. The other Our, thing is, throughout the years, I mean, you know, speaking of the. Um, 
all the personnel changes and whatnot. I mean, the personnel changes have been kind of very minimal compared to other bands. Because uh, based Tim Tim was around and living with Brian. I mean, from right from the get go. So I mean, and you started writing with us in I think what 1990. Yeah. So that that helps out. Yeah, uh, we have to to all five, all five that you see here. Everybody has been. We've all been friends together, uh, and other other people that have been in the group, which is probably just really Mark Diamond. Yeah, we, we've all known each other, so we all kind of share a common experience. You know? Yeah, I think that helps too. We have a lot of common language, so writing is probably it helps the writing because we all know what it's supposed to be. We know what the right. goal was when the whole thing started. Yeah, so maybe that keeps us. It keeps gives us a true north that we all are familiar with. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Uh, would Would we ever consider doing an album of remakes? I guess cover, cover album. That'd be interesting. Yeah. That'd be fun, but it's hard enough to do a full an, our own album. <laughs> I think it's really hard to do them well where you're like really adding something to them, you know? Yeah. I look at it, the best cover band ever, and they weren't a cover band, but the band that did covers the best ever was The Clash. And they somehow made every song they covered, you have, a lot of times you have to look back and see, wow, that was a cover? They're so good at it, you yeah. know? And those, to me, they were obscure songs, but they weren't obscure songs to them, like Toots and the Maytals and Bobby Fuller and Police On My Back. You know, those were hits to them and they did it so, it's, the bar has to Police be. Police and Thieves wasn't theirs. Police and Thieves wasn't theirs. And so I look at that, I'm like, you got to really bring something new to the table, you know, for me to make it worth the effort. Otherwise, you know, there's plenty of good cover bands out there. I, and I don't think we're a terribly good cover band. <laughs> you know, we have to find things in our wheelhouse. And it's, a, you know, I don't think our, we, we have a, a thing that we do really well and have them fit. Though we have talked about things here and there about doing them. Um, but I hate saying them because then people expect you to do them. But you never know with covers till you get them in the room. Sometimes it sounds like the greatest idea for a cover, and you get in there and like, well, this is a disaster. You know, you just don't yeah. know. Let's see what else we got. Uh, There's no publishing. So what? Do you, what's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Uh, air color. Um, all right. So, anybody got any more questions? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna answer two more questions. So, so the next two questions that come in, we're gonna answer. Hello, come on, people. Write a write a question. You but see. the third question shall remain. David should do punk rock karaoke. That's a good idea. I, think you I have done it. it. You should do it with. Um, I signed up and did my song. What song did you do? Like everybody else. What would you do? I don't care about you. Oh, I do the <laughs> Oh. All right, Dave, Metal Dave actually just asked a really good question. Uh, first album each of us bought with our own money when we were kids. Well, my parents had pretty hip taste, so I didn't have to like go buy Beatle records and stuff. I, I could just steal those from my parents. So the first one I got with money was James Gang Thirds. That album Thirds because I had walked. Ooh, with that's a good one. I was like 11, maybe even a little younger, like 10. And I, that song Walk Away was a big radio hit. And I bought James Gang Thirds. That's a really hip choice for a kid. I can't believe that's the, but that's the one. Shocked. <laughs> Todd, what was the first one you bought? Shit, man, that's so long ago. Uh, and my parents were like Tim's. They had great records. I, I, I want to say it was Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Yeah, I think it, it's one of the one of those Sabbath records. It was so evil sounding. <laughs> I love them. Kiss, dressed to kill. 
That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Uh, among the first ones. I remember I was at Christmas one time and, and my older cousin who lived in Huntington Beach and he, he had that record and we just disappeared for like three hours. Parents, you know, where are those guys? Uh, David, what was your first album you ever bought with your own money? Well, when I was a kid, I used to go to Goodwill and look for 45s, and I was big into Elvis. But the first, like, rock metal kind of thing I bought, like, LP was probably Sad Wings of Destiny, maybe. Oh, maybe. hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> whiskey woman, whiskey drinking woman, you're driving me insane. No. I think so. I don't know. That's a great yeah. record. And around that same time, about 2112 and um, yeah, Black Set, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. And it was probably my first job, so I got three or four albums. And it was all first, like first metal. Went to all records, right? Records and weed. Mm hmm. Yeah. And t shirts. I had so enough. You get iron on t shirts at the mall. Yeah. I think actually mine was, uh, I got it at Music Plus for three ninety nine. I think it was hotter than hell. I don't know, oh, just, yeah. It was like, it was like I looked at the album cover, I'm like, man, this is just fucking creepy. I got to get this. this is, I mean, because it was all like weird. No, it was terrible art, but actually looking back, it was good art. <laughs> I loved that album cover when I was a kid, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I stared at that thing to my eyeballs. You didn't get magazines easily back then. That was like as close as you got when you're like 12. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> my battery is dying. We done? Are we done? Are we it? talking to ourselves at this point? One more question and we're out of here. Uh, where was the question? I saw something good. God damn it. Does Junkyard know John Kolodner? Well, we used to. We know who he is and he knows I who he is. I saw him in an Aerosmith video. And that's about that. I've never met him. I've never met him. I'm not going to say what he said to us when they released us from Geffen, so. I want to know. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Basically. <laughs> we, we, we met him once uh, for a, um, a whatever, you know, they come down and, and the, the Geffen Shut staff watch you run through the set. Showcase, uh, and he all he wore all white, and you there were a lot of rules about not looking at him or touching him, or <laughs> um, you have to sign an NDA. Yeah, you, know, you seem like one of those pretentious geniuses that you know. I'm sure he wouldn't recognize any of us today. I wouldn't recognize him either. Who cares? We also did a uh, we played Cat House in front of like 10 people for some CNN story that was about him. Really? And then when it aired on CNN, it was like the entertainment section of CNN back then, like, you know, back, they would have just like that quick 15 minute at the end, at the end of the hour. And uh, they showed us for like, you know, one frame and that was it. And I think we got one more question and uh, no, nah, that's it. So anyhow, basically to recap, we're doing this acoustic live stream right here. So the same way that you all are connecting to watch us on our chat is exactly the same way. Watch out for other assholes out there that are posting uh, ticket links because that's a bunch of bullshit. Our, shit, our, uh, our acoustic live stream is completely 100% free. Uh, that was me, Pat, sorry. Oh, you again? <laughs> I tried to do it when we did the, My bad. the cruise live stream. How much did you make? <laughs> not uh, enough for my crack at it uh well at the live stream we'll have uh we'll have uh auction items face drum head the the big one with the axle logo we'll sign it all david's gonna have some um some plaques a couple of plaques and um a junior size vest handmade and, 
exercise vest. Uh, and then we'll have some other things too. We're gonna have some posters, uh, our 2024 posters uh, that we'll be signing. Those will be going up. Uh, T-shirts are available now for that event. Uh, there, it's a it's a limited run of 40 shirts. So if you're gonna buy one, buy one now. And those will be shipping in uh, October. Um, and Tom, <laughs> Tom from Little Caesar said, I shit blood for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And that's about it. So he did shit blood. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll be back. Bye -bye. See everybody. Now. See everybody on the 19th. And.